Yo, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Dishong Tower Survival. It's part four, day four, the morning. We're looking at our little garden right here. We still need to find some fertilizer and a hoe so we could maximize the yield on these crops. Maybe we can find one today. We're going to journey upward. Still trying to make it to the roof by day seven. Got minimal supplies on us. Last night I did upgrade our toolsmithing a couple of times. So we're going to make a new stone axe, which should be at level 100. There we go. So that's nice. Got some food on us, our cooking pot, a gun, mining helmet, some ammo, because, like I just said, we, I got three guns on us, <laughs> so we've got some backup, because I don't know what we're going to run into, and I'm sure it's going to get dicey, but I don't think we're coming back down to the conference room tonight. Uh, I did organize our stuff last night, so we got some weapons and tools, very minimal first aid. That's all we have in terms of first aid is just some pills, uh, a decent amount of food and water, which is good. Then we've got just some building and crafting supplies in here. So, uh, like I said, we're going to journey upward today, see how far we can make it, uh, and then pick a safe spot to, to you know, spend the night, drop down another storage chest, and keep making our way towards the rooftop. Hopefully we can get there by day seven. If we can't, and, and it's, you know, getting down to the wire, we could always pole our way up on the outside of the building, and all we would need to use is two frames. And we can just stair-step our way all the way up to the roof, you know. Place a block, pick it up, and so on and so forth. So that's an option that we may use. It just depends. So anyway, let's just keep it moving here and see how far we can get today. Okay, we got to get in this elevator shaft here. There's a ladder we can get up. We get the stone wall that way, and we explored most of this floor, if not all of it, in day three. But it's that room back here, uh, beyond these gates that I need to get into. This is where we got jumped in day three, and we had to make a run for it. We almost died. But we got to get out the window here. I'm just being a little bit cautious right now. All right. No time like the present. Let's try not to fall and die. Here we go. Open window right here. Looks pretty clear inside. This door is probably locked, but let's check it. Yep. Let's continue on around here. We're on the same floor, just a different part. Oh, no, look, there are some stairs right there. All right, before we head up there, let's just see what else we got on this level. Probably some stuff we haven't uh, searched yet. We'll barricade here with some stuff we can search. There we go. Just taking everything right now. We can always scrap or get rid of whatever we don't want or need or just create a storage chest when we're overloaded. Dump everything off. What about over here? Um, got a little hole in the wall right there. That's blocked off. Let's, uh, let's check that out. Just pull our way up here. Uh... Thought I just heard some zombies in there. What is going on here? What the fuck? We're like inside the frame. Uh, what? There it goes. A little buggy. All right, let's uh, let's knock this wood out here and see what we're working with. Oh, see some spikes, and it says uh, it says die, bitch. So that's comforting. All right, well, let's get in here. I mean, there's this room is here for a reason. I'm hoping that the floor doesn't give out. But the zombies will trigger the floor to give out. Let's, uh, oh, that guy's dead. Let's see. All right, he's getting up. So let's see if, uh, if the floor's going to give out. Oh, come on, dude. Walk a little. Oh, well, fuck it. Let's get down there. There's another dead body here we can search. Oh, another one right here we can search. He's getting up. All right, so oh, now he's on the spikes. But the floor didn't give out right when he got up. He's dead. This is a, a strange room, though. Because all the windows are boarded up. There's nowhere else to go. It, it wants me to die. Um, I feel like there's a point to this room, though. Well, there it is right there. It's the ceiling. 
It's the floor above this room that gives out. And then you, you come crashing down and you, and you break a leg into a room that says die, bitch. So, what we're gonna do is just bust the floor open here. So, this way we're prepared. Whenever When we get to the floor above us, we'll know that this the floor in, in this room just completely gives out. See, look at this whole big block right there. You step on any of this stuff, it's gonna give out and you're gonna fall down into the die bitch room. And uh, there'd be some zombies here waiting for you. You'd probably break a leg and it just wouldn't be a good look for you. So it's a good thing we busted in here. What the hell is going on with the frames today? What the fuck is that? Very strange. Pretty buggy today. Alright. There we go. Weird. Alright, anyway, yeah. Oh, see, look at this. This whole floor is just gonna give out. It's like a little office room up here. So that's cement. There we go. We'll take this out. And that's a pretty good indicator, I think. I don't think we have to knock out all of these wooden blocks. We'll just do a little bit of damage to them. There's concrete. Alright. I think that's good enough. Now when we get into this room, like I said, above us, we uh, we won't fall through the floor and die. Alright, let's get up that stairwell that we found. Here we go. It's barred off there. Oh, it's a bit nicer up here. Nice and finished. Oh, there's the room. There's the death room. Yep, this door is open. And look, look how they have it walled off too. So you have to walk straight you know yeah like and look that's concrete too that's such a dick move so they make it so like you have to walk right to your own death right there well would, i don't think you'd die but you would break a leg it would ruin your day there'd be zombies down there it would suck so let's just kind of walk the perimeter of this room search what we can oh there we go Leather chest armor. Definitely gonna have to make that. We got plenty of leather. And what else? I think you just need leather for that. If if anything, you may need duct tape as well. But we got that also, so... Definitely gonna have to make ourselves some better chest armor. Let's get in this ammunition box here. Two days later. Some rockets. Now we just need a rocket launcher. Um, we got another ammunition box right here. Let's check this out. Ah, oh, SMG schematic. We'll take that and read it. Uh, an SMG would have been better, but... Can't complain. Alright, we got a couple of gun safes here. And, uh... I guess we'll come back for them. I'm not gonna spend a whole bunch of time trying to bust in with my uh, stone axe here. So, uh, we got an opened ceiling right there. So that's probably the way to go, if we want to proceed anyway. There's a whole bunch of shit in here we need to search. So I'm just taking it a little bit slow, because yeah, here we go. Some sleepers. Ooh, four of them, right here. Alright, let's creep up on the standing one. See if we can take her out with one shot. Just stand up, I guess. Go hit her. No, she's up. Come on. She's down. That guy's dead. Oh, she's dead. All right, we didn't wake these two up. I'll take that. Let's see. Oh, no, he's getting up. Oh, now he's down. This is going to wake Big Mama up. Yep. Oh, there's another sleeper uh, in this little cubicle thing right there. There's another one right here. Holy shit. Oh, she's dead. That was easy. All right, Big Mama's... Uh, there's a hole in the floor we got to be careful of. Where's Big Mama at? I don't know where she went. There she is. Let's do it, Big Mama. There she goes, finally. What do you got? You got a shaking leg? She had a shovel, that's good, but I would have preferred a hoe. Some more potted plants right here. Take that. A couple more right here, nice. Like I said, I definitely want to plant another garden. Damn, Big Mama's still shaking. <laughs> Alright, 
might want to check out this kitchen area and hopefully find ourselves some food and water. Looks like uh, it's all blocked off. A sleeper right here. Let's take him out. I think he's the only one. He's down. He's dead. Alright, let's search everything on this side before we uh, start removing some of this blockade here. Can we get some water here? There we go. A couple of beers also. We got some barbed wire on this side. Yeah, it's all blocked off. Uh, let's take out the, uh, the spikes. Get a good amount of wood from those. Alright, looks like we got another little kitchen area room over there, which is nice. Oh, some more beverage holders, come on. No water, a couple more beers. There's a wall safe right here. If we just knock this out, will it fall? No. What if we knock these out? I think we might have to knock the floor piece out. Yeah, these aren't holding. These are not holding it up. Um... All right, whatever. Whatever for now. Oh, we got oh some landmines right there. Be careful. Good thing we didn't go that way. I am going to try and search uh, these right here. This sink. And I think that's it. Oh, some more potted plants. We got some chairs here we're going to pick up for the wood. Just want to check out around here and see if we uh, missed anything. We got a couple of bathrooms right here. Zombies. Some more zombies. And uh, I think that's it. Yeah, this is where we came up. And this is that crazy room where the floor gives out. Here comes Big Mama. Alright, let's take these zombies out. Search the bathrooms. And then we'll head over to that room in the northwest corner. That looked like a big kitchen and search that place. Oh, she got me. And I'm bleeding out. And I'm stunned. God damn. Oh, man. We got uh, these bandages right here on our tool belt. They're not going to give us any health back, but they'll stop the bleeding. Sometimes I forget that I'm playing on uh, Insane, and I just, you know, I take it for granted. I rush all these zombies, I don't take my time, and then uh, that happens. But I guess that could happen on any difficulty setting. You know, if, if you start rushing, and uh, you're not taking your time... Shit happens to you. And I grabbed that picture off the wall because a lot of people were saying I can get wood from it. But if I scrap it, it just gives me broken glass. And even if I uh, put it on the wall and then uh, hit it with my hammer, it still just only gives me broken glass, which I don't really care for right now. I don't need any glass. So we'll uh, drop it off here. We will take that, though. Leave the other glass behind as well. Can we get some murky water? Yes, we can. Alright, gotta make some room for that. And get rid of these sneakers. Uh, yeah, we'll take the lead. Alright. Ooh. Almost missed these. Alright. Let's take a quick look at our inventory. Um, Alright. We got some blueberry seeds. That's good. Alright, I'm gonna come back and grab these chairs here in a minute, but first I just want to get in this room here. See if there are any sleepers on the ground or anything. And I'm not seeing any. But let's search what we can. I'll throw a storage container down on one of these countertops here because our inventory is filling up. And we may even come back down and spend the night in this room. It all depends. We are going to go up through the hole in the ceiling above the stage and see what we can find in the on the floor above us. But if we don't find a better room than this one, we'll come back down and spend the night here. But I definitely have to drop a storage chest before we proceed. So we can open up a bunch of inventory space. Oh, there we go. Some good food. A couple of pies and spam. But we are out of space. So I'm going to throw my wood frames in there real fast. Give us a spot on the tool belt. And uh, go ahead and craft another storage chest. Uh, right there looks good to me. Oh, we forgot to search this here. All right. Um, let's just dump a whole bunch of shit off in here. And then uh, finish searching this kitchen. Make sure we found, we, we looked through everything. And then, like I said, we'll move up through that hole in the ceiling and just keep pushing forward and see what else we can find. All right, we're going to eat these pies because, one, we're hungry. And, two, they do give us some wellness. So maybe we can get a wellness bump. If not, uh, at least we can hopefully get full health from them. All right, we'll uh, 
We'll just leave our bunch of stuff in that room. I know it's crazy that we have, uh, we're just putting storage chests all around. You know, I, I usually like to keep all of my stuff centralized, but I'm just trying to make it through, through this tower. And, uh, you know, I can't keep running all the way down to the conference room and putting all my stuff down there. You know, you got to drop shit off as you go along. So I'm trying to try my best to pick like strategic spots to to place <laughs> storage chests, you know. But uh, it is what it is. I think we're doing okay. All right, uh, let's just get up here now. We got some frames we can use. Um, here we go. Do that. Do that. We got little stairs right here. All right, this has got to be the way to go. Search some trash. Maybe we should kill this light here. Try and be a little sneaky if we can. Sure, there are zombies all over. Here we go. Here's one. Let's take him out. Oh, this is a creepy ass hallway. Uh, that's locked. Got a nice barricade right here, but that'd be relatively easy to bust through. I mean, it's all just wood. But instead of doing that right now, we're just going to kind of work our way around here. We got some backpacks to search, a whole bunch of trash to search. So we'll kind of see where uh, where this hallway takes us. There's some doors down here too, but I imagine they're probably locked as well. Well, I hear a zombie breaking through one of those doors. Oh, some iron boots. We'll go ahead and read that recipe. Where's this guy? Here he comes. All right, let's take care of him and we'll finish searching this hallway. Damn, that guy was tough. That took a hell of a beating. Oh, here's another one. All right. Uh, I didn't even hear this guy. Hopefully he's not as tough as the first guy. You know what? Let's save ourselves a whole lot of grief and just shoot this guy in the face. Damn, his head like spun around. Oh, nice. At least we got some steel from him. All right, let's continue on down this hallway. A whole bunch more trash to search. Oh, there's an open doorway right here. Gas barrel. All this stuff is blocked off. Still haven't gone back and checked that doorway, the guy that uh, first zombie came out of, but look at this here. We got a ton of uh, crates in this room. Um, all right. I'm assuming there's a sleeper over there. I'm going to kill the light, creep around. There's one right here. Let's creep up on him first. Oh, shit, he's getting up. Oh, this is a tight, this is a tight area. Oh, yeah, we definitely don't want to be fighting in here. Might as well use some of the ammo we have. All right, he's dead. Yeah, we'll take everything for right now. I know there's another one right over here. Oh, holy shit, a whole lot of them. All right, I think that's it. Oh, and we leveled up, sweet. All right, let's loot these bodies and start popping open these crates. We still got some good time. So we should be able to loot this room and... Oh, shit, where the... Two more? Three more. All right, well, let's do it. All right, let's start cracking into these bad boys. We should be able to at least get through the room we're in now because we got plenty of time. And then at the end of this room... There's a hole in the wall with another room with crates in it. So we'll just see how far along we can get before uh, it gets too late. Oh, there we go. Steel pickaxe. I will take that. Not the best quality, but we have steel on us so we can repair it. So we can at least go use that to break into those gun safes we found. And in terms of better tools, I think I'm going to build a forge. It shouldn't be... Uh, Hard to do it all. It's going to take some time. Actually, with this steel pickaxe, it's going to be perfect because we can get clay from the walls that separate the toilets and the bathrooms. And it takes a while with the stone axe, you know. But it'll be easy with this steel pickaxe. So that's what we'll do tomorrow, probably. Go harvest a bunch of clay with this steel pickaxe and make ourselves the forge. And then we can start smelting down some iron and we'll make an anvil. And then we can start making some better tools and weapons. All right, our inventory's maxed out, so let's head back down to our uh, little kitchen area, drop off a bunch of stuff into storage, and we can come back up here and definitely finish that room off. This was that, uh, oh, a couple of sleepers in there, and a couple of crates, but that's the room that that first zombie busted out of before, so 
we'll check that out on the way back up. Because, like I said, we have no inventory space now. So let's just get down to our storage crate, which is right down here. Better go around. Don't feel like breaking a leg right now. All right, let's check this room out real quick. I know we got a couple of sleepers in here. Yeah, a couple of crates, too. Part of me wants to wake them up, kill them, and, and search them. Part of me wants to just ninja this room real quick. And that's, I think, what I'm going to do. Just see if we can crack into these crates without waking them up. There we go. Some water, man. The most precious resource in this series. And then we'll just sneak out. And no one is the wiser. All right, we got all the crates in this room. Let's jump across this platform. I see at least one crate in here and an ammunition box. It's a dumpster. Another hole in the wall. So let's just make some steps real quick. So we can get back up there real fast if we need to. Come on. Oh, sweet. That's exactly what I needed. Let's get this pistol loaded up. All right. Perfect. Let's see what we got in here. And then... I guess we have a little bit of time to peek through that hole. Another gas barrel. What do you think? Should we push on? Oh, wait. Isn't this, uh... Let me make some steps real quick. Weren't we here already? I think we just did a full circle. Yeah. Because this elevator, I, I put that torch on the uh, front doorway, because that, that's the way to proceed. There's a, there's a ladder in that elevator shaft that will take us up to the floor above us. Oh, I must have missed this trash over here, though. I miss anything else? Well, we still got a bit of time. I hate to push my luck and push it too far, but let's at least have a peek at what, what we got going on up here. Could we build a ladder? I mean, that's another way to go. Not really, I mean, because we could build a ladder and just go all the way up, but... Those elevator doors are probably shut, and they're stainless steel, and it'll take us forever to bust through. And then we miss a whole bunch of loot, you know? And there's a ton of crates up here, so... While I'm not seeing any zombies, and we still got the time, we might as well bust into as many as we can. This way, tomorrow, as we keep pushing forward, we've already got a lot of this stuff searched, and we can just keep going. That's what takes so long. You know, I'd be at the roof already if I was just pushing for the roof, but... Stopping to search all this shit, you know, it takes time, and that's what I care about more. I care more about the loot than making it to the roof. I mean, the roof is going to provide a sanctuary during the Horde Night, and that's about it. I mean, it's all about collecting the loot along the way. And like I said earlier, if we're not close to the roof by day seven, we can just uh, stair-step up the side of the building and get there. Or we can just create a little base up inside one of those elevator shafts and just stay there all night. There are little tricks that we can do, and Horde Night will not be a problem. It might be boring, you know, if I pull up an elevator shaft and just stay up there all night. Yeah, it'd be boring as shit, but at least we won't die. Oh, they're having a party in there. We can start beating on their legs. Oh shit, here they come. All right, well, we got pretty much this whole floor searched, unless I missed something, but let's get, uh, it's getting a little bit too late now to be messing around, so let's get back down to our kitchen room, maybe see if we want to secure that room in any way, just in case something happens tonight, and then uh, start a campfire, get some food in our belly, drink some water, we found a bunch more water, so that's real good, and uh, yeah, we'll spend the night in our kitchen area, and then tomorrow... Uh, I think we're just going to keep on pushing forward. I want to try and get the forge built, though, like I said. And uh, let's just crack this open real quick. I just wanted to have a look. But then we'll also get back to that floor we were at, make sure we didn't forget anything, and then just see how to proceed from there. Look at this right here. We can kind of build something off of this area. And maybe just build a little spot to kind of like hold down the horde in. We can easily get up to the next floor from up here, just kind of pull up there. So, a lot of options. Let's get back to a, to safety right now. Let's just worry about surviving through the night here. And then we'll think about what we want to do in day five. But forge, for sure, and just kind of push on forward. And uh, see if we can get up a few more floors, lay down another storage chest somewhere in like another safe room. And I think that's how we're just going to keep working this series. 
until we get to the rooftop, build another garden up there, and then just kind of work our way back down the building and just keep, keep going up and down, searching what we can, killing zombies, taking loot from them. So, do we make a door? I'm going to put a door here just as, like, added security. Not that it's going to do much. If a zombie starts beating on it, they're going to bust right through it. But at least we, we would hear it, you know, and it'll be a little bit of a warning. So, uh, all right, let's get into our kitchen area. All right, we got the campfire cooking us some meat. We're going to seal up these doors a bit just by dropping a couple of frames at the top and also a couple of frames at the bottom, leaving an opening here. So if zombies do come, I can shoot them or hit them with the bat through this opening, but they can't, you know, they can't get through to us. We're going to do the same thing over here. A couple of frames at the top, a couple of frames at the bottom. Over here, we've got a little bit of a bigger opening, though. You know, they can easily jump up there, but not if we put a block right there. That'll stop them. Won't stop them for long, but long enough for us to, uh, you know, get a gun out and uh, handle our business. Let's, uh, I, I, I could throw a frame right here. As a, as a measure, I could hop up here, pull that frame up, and, uh, and be safe up there as well. So, a couple of options if shit goes south tonight, but I think we're alright. It's been pretty quiet. So, we're gonna eat some meat, drink some water, get through the night, and uh, we'll be good to go. I think we're doing really well. You know, and I'm, I'm not too worried about food and water at this point, surprisingly. We've found a lot. We've got some coin also, so we can hit up the vending machine. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video here. In episode 5, we're going to try and get a forge built. And we're going to continue to push on up towards the roof. So, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of your support. It means a lot. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Dishong Tower survival. More Ramblin' Man. And if you saw the video, the renovation challenge I did with Cap, that mansion I built, I'm going to hold that thing down against the Day 14 horde coming up real soon. So stay tuned for that as well. And I will catch you guys in the next video.